Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day everyone. Today on the bench I'm going to tie up uh, another one of my jig series. Here's a nice little gray uh, hair's ear. I've used the hot pink bead on here. We'll just go over the materials. We didn't need to tie the fly. I'm using some crystal dub in gray. Uh, the collar I'm using some ice dub in UV purple. The hook I'm using a Togan's size 12 jig hook. I've got seven turns of 015 lead in behind the hot pink slotted bead. The tailing material, I'm using uh, some of these fibers off the top of my partridge at the rear. These uh, flies, you can fish them static. You can drift them in moving water as well. They work really, really well. And I like to have my flies basically buggy. I don't want to overdo them too much with the synthetics. I want to keep that component of a natural look so when i come in here with you know some of these tackles for example look at the nice speckling on the partridge make beautiful tailing material tie that in the rear and uh, trim off the butts i'm going to be using some mylar the uni mylar for the rib the gold silver tie the gold side out so I want to, when I tie it in I need the silver up the silver silver facing you if you can see that there you go and um, throw a half hitch in here grab my crystal dub dub that down really fine along the shank my Norvice works good for that nice little it's like a spinning wheel. Great for dubbing. I like using a lot of dub flies. They're big, buggy, natural looking. I get about four or five turns, about five turns of my gold rib on there. I don't want to overdo it with purple or hot pinks or something like that for ribbing. I know a lot of people really get wound up in getting a lots of different colors on there they look really funky in the box but i still want to have that natural component for the uh, for the fish it's it just looks more more like it belongs in the water put a little ice stub on there just just at the collar i don't want to overdo it with this one i'm just putting a little little bit of accent in behind the bead kind of blends with the bead actually doesn't get conflicting colors and uh there you go. Now, if you don't have an Norvice, just use your uh, dubbing loops, or you can get a dubbing block. Going to do any amount of dubbing and or brushes and that type of thing. Those dubbing blocks are quite inexpensive. You can spin them on your wire. You can put them on. It gives you a really nice buggy appearance. So there it is. It's a little gold uh, or gold ribbed uh, gray hair's ear. So. Nothing wrong with that. That'll catch a lot of fish. It sure is working now with these new jig flies. They're more on the you know on the market now than than there ever before, but they've been used for years. And my mentor Walt Lawson out of Redcliffe, he was tying jig flies for trout decades ago, several decades ago, and uh, a lot of the ultralight boys were using them, and they were catching a lot of fish in the lakes, doing very very well with them. It's I don't see a lot of ultralight fishermen, but I mean, uh, us fly fishers, we, we fish these all the time and, and they work really, really well. And right up to some some larger jigs that we've used for salmon. And we'll get into some of those one day as well. I'll do some salmon and other species for you, okay? So thanks again for watching Sport Fishing on the Fly. We'll make sure uh, you want to sign up for a member. You can get in here and have a, a, a good view at a lot of, there's hundreds of flies being tied online with our pro staff people and their seminars on there. So great value. And uh, thanks again to all our sponsors. Appreciate it. Have a nice day.